We have got the cab back on the rotisserie and it has been a long time since we've seen it back on the rotisserie. pretty hot it's about 37 degrees so we're definitely steaming up in here but we're getting a lot done ground back all of the sills welded them all up because i couldn't get to it when it was on the chassis as well so getting a lot done but uh yeah it's just a bit hot i'm already missing it not being on the chassis but that's all right when it's on there next time it'll be pretty close to finished when we were working on these sills these were all rusted out and we needed to remake them but I wasn't a fan of this indent that comes in here. I wanted it to follow that line and keep that flat. So I've come over here, mocked it up with a piece of cardboard, and that is the idea of what I want to do. Follow that body line straight down. I think it looks a lot nicer and it makes the whole cab look smooth. Now that we have mounted the uh, rotisserie to a different point, it's a lot harder to turn. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, it's a bit of a struggle, but we got there. So after already wrecking myself just by getting it where it is, one thing that I want to sort out is these cross members. They should be nice and flat like this one. They're quite dinged up. I want to make sure that's nice and flat because when this is all in primer and looking pretty, and I take photos of it, it's gonna look pretty ugly. While I'm at it, I can access it all, so I'm gonna start pulling out some of these dints to make it look a bit nicer. Another repair that I have done, that I haven't filmed because it was small, is these uh, seat belt mounts. So these go like that, and they sit on there and then you've got your bolt that goes through that. You can see here, there's a massive gap. And that's just the way they put on from factory. There's probably get dirt and stuff going in there. But this was fully rusted out. And you clearly do not want a rusted out seat belt mount. So I cut that out and did a quick repair. It meant we could clean this up as well. So I've drilled out some holes to plug it on. And I've also drilled out a big hole in the middle. It's all small stuff, but we're moving forward. So that's the main thing. To fix these uh, dints, I'm gonna use the spot weld pull thing -o. I'm gonna try a new lens, hopefully this works good. Now, the easiest way that I've found to pull these dints out is by getting a vice grip on these and just giving it a yank. Yeah, it's the best way. See, that popped out, brilliant. I'm not super fussed about this because of course I'm not gonna see it, but at the same time, I still want to know that it looks good oh! after that incident i've changed the way that i hold things the thing that it comes with doesn't work well this is how it being done and that just means i've got to weld them up so i think i'm creating more work for myself i've recently welded the skin of the roof on which you would have seen in the last video yeah i forgot to look under it before i welded it on there is a marker stuck in the roof this is gonna be fun to get out so, wish me luck. Well, I got a texture out, but not the bloody lid. They're still stuck in that corner. I got the little thing out and it fell out. And I'm very thankful for that because I did not want it rattling around in the roof when the car is finished. So, lucky I spotted that. Recently got a haircut, so I do look a bit different, but it is still the same person, don't you worry. Now, I've been working on these mounts and I've put that in copper and so is the mounts they are ready to go on i did kind of give up on doing these cross members because it was kind of a bit boring it's looking better than what it was so it's not too bad but i got these mounts all welded in and you can see that they all penetrated very nicely and got super hot so they will not be moving and yeah they're definitely solid i'm gonna be working on the lower b pillars back of the sills i've already started by cutting out one and i've just traced the second one ready to cut out on this side we have already pulled out the line to be in line with that now this is what it was like before and we're gonna have to do the same thing gonna try and finish them both off today 
then the whole cab will be looking complete with no holes. We discovered that there was another rust hole. It was in a bit of a tricky spot, so we cut it out and we've done a little repair. So this is how it turned out. So now that little rust repair is out of the way, we can move on to finally getting the piece welded in. I'm just doing a tack and then I'm cooling it down so that I'm not getting too much heat into it because I definitely don't want to warp this because of how flat it is. That looks unreal. That just looks so smooth. It follows that body line really nice. And that corner is just, oh, it all follows that line and then sharpens up to a point. I reckon it looks unreal. I had an idea of just following that line and keeping it flat and it paid off. So it means that my, my cab is gonna stand out. There's gonna be a little bit of custom tweak to it. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Now I'm going to start working on the back of the driver's side sill. Everything is prepped and in place. I had to weld up two little holes that were drilled out a while ago and they are done. And also I've painted inside there so everything will be protected. Got it all tacked in place and the gaps are a little bit thicker than I was wanting, but it's all good. And he's all lining up. So we'll come back once it's all welded up and ground back. So let's cut to them. My grinding has improved a lot. Like that is a 90 degree. Now that most of the cab is finished, I'd say it's around 90% done. I'm gonna move on to something a little bit different. So I'm gonna start working on the chassis. The chassis, I haven't touched at all. The one thing that needs to be repaired was where we mount the cab to the chassis. So this is the original holes at where it went. And you can see they are fully rusted out and that is clearly not safe at all. We were lucky enough to have another chassis at one stage that we got to cut these sections out of that were good so i'm going to replace it in there and that is the difference between how big that hole should be same as the other side that is what it was like as well and you definitely don't want, want that so yeah we'll replace them and it's quite thick metal so i get to uh weld some slugs <laughs> cut out that is a massive difference this hole was nowhere near what it needed to be so yeah that is going to be a lot safer i was super grateful to get those two sections out of another chassis to replace those rusty pieces because we definitely did not want those so i'm lucky that i found those but another thing that i'm super happy with are those two pieces that we remade on the back of the sills they look unreal and to see my vision come to life and them turn out as good as they did, I was really stoked with that. Now that we are down to the end of the rust, there's not many major things that we need to finish. So it was all just small stuff, but I'm still happy with what we achieved in today's video. And make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button. We're almost at a thousand subs. So make sure you go do that and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.